Hello and welcome to the tutorial on learning numbers. In this tutorial we are going to go through numbers before and after up to 50. Now suppose we have this number here 36. 36. And what we want to work out is what number comes after 36. Now this is quite simple. What we look at is the tens and the units. We've got number 36. We simply count forward. Count forward. What number comes after 36? It is 30. The next one is after 6 is 7. It is 37. How about if we want to work out what number comes before 36. Well again it's nice and easy. It is just simply counting backwards. You can count up to 50 simply count backwards. You can start at 36 or even further start at 39. 39, 38, 37, 36, 35. 35. Now you can use a number grid to do this but even at year one, you should be able to do this just off the top of your head. You know how to count up to 50. It's very straightforward. We're also going to look at two more examples, which most people find quite difficult at a young age. This time, suppose we've got the number 30. We've got the number 30, and what we want to do is to work out the number before 30. Now before 36 was 35. What number comes before 30? And again it's very simple. It's counting. We know that young children find this quite difficult. Before 30 what we have to do is the zero can't go back any further. We have to take one from here. However in this tutorial and in learning numbers we're not going to do addition or subtraction. It's simply counting. Counting back from 30, the answer is 29. And you can do this. You can start at 30. Well, you can start at 31, 30, the number before it is 29, 28. And you know this sequence of numbers. Now the next one I want to work through is again another one which young children find quite challenging. Suppose this time we've got number 49. What number comes after 49? After 49, again it's counting. After 49, you have to get it right. It's not 40. If the 9, if you have a 9 over here, that changes to 0 and you have to go up 1 here. So therefore the number after is 50. I'm just going to write down after here so we're very clear on this. So the number after is 50. If it's a 9, and let's just go through this one more time. If it is a 9 over here, what you do is that goes to 0. It's effect you're going from 9 to 10. If you're going from 9 to 10, this becomes 0. And this number, the 4, the one next to it, goes up by 1. Now, conversely, or looking at the number before, it's a different scenario. Let's have a look at that. We've got 30, so we're looking at this example now. We've got 30. The number before means that this one here, the units, 0, has to go back by 1. Now, it can't go back by 1. 0 is the smallest number. However, you have to go back by 1. Imagine if this is 10. What number comes before 10? It is 9. Therefore, we have 9. But we've started with 10, so we have to go back 1 here as well. So the 3 becomes 2. The answer is over here, 29. Now let's have a look at one more example, just to make sure that we've got the hang of this. Let's suppose this time we've got the number we're going to write down here, we've got the number 
40. Suppose we got 40 and we want to work out the number before 40. Now just, just remember what we did here. What we do is, this one here, the 0 in 40, it can't go back any further. So imagine this to be a 10, this 0 becomes 9. And we have to take away 1 from the 4. It becomes 3, 39. Now it really is quite simple. As long as you can count up to 50, this section is not very difficult. Have a practice with some of the questions.